You know, fam, sometimes the internet is a blessing and a curse at the same time. And this segment I'm going to be talking to you guys about, where I should really say video, is a bit of more of a curse. And it just makes me sit there and think to myself, how sensitive is people on the internet? How fucking void of life are you people really just freaking out over this little simple thing that you had to make Sony or PlayStation in this situation literally censor this one little part in Stellar Blade. I am going to say though, if you are listening to me on your headphones and not paying attention to the screen, what I need you to do right now is look at your phone right now, okay? Just just give me your attention for the maybe the next five to ten seconds because right now I'm going to pull up the picture right now is the thing that they censored in Stellar Blade. Yeah, that yeah, that is, Sony thought this was a priority to take care of versus making sure the game works on launch. Just keep that in mind for a second. And I'm pretty sure you're sitting there thinking to yourself too, Gar, this is not a big deal. And I'm, I'm gonna sit there with you. Yeah, like, yeah, that graffiti with a sign right next to it. It's not a big deal for God's sake. It's probably got a lot more other freaking meanings behind it besides the, well, you know what I'm going with this one. Otherwise, if I say, you know, demonetizing Gar is going to be sent to the Shadow Realm, never to seen again. But do you know who's making a bigger situation out of this that really doesn't need to be political news or news in general in this situation? I want you to take a guess right now. Just, just sit there, take a long, hard thought process of what's going on, you know, what's, you know, just try to add up the situation. I'll tell you who it is. It's Kotaku with this headliner, this absolute banger over here. And I want to keep it, you guys in mind, like earlier I showed you the screenshot where it said the hard R, but now Kotaku's over here saying it's an N-word reference. Like, really, Kotaku? Really? This, this is why I can't stand journalism these days. I kind of understand why people get their news, like, through YouTube these days. But really? Really, Kotaku? We, we didn't have anything else better to do? Fuck it. I'm going to read this article. Screw it. The word hard in pink spray appears in graffiti throughout Stellar Blade. IGN reports that in one location, it appears next to a neon sign for R Shop, where the protagonist Eve meets with a handler named Roxanne. Taken together, the text players see on the wall reads, Hard R Shop, a seeming, a seeming joke about racial slurs. Jesus Christ, Kotaku. The placement of two graffitis, uh, graphic, graphics near each other in Stellar Blade resulted in an unintentional, objectionable phrase. Sony told IGN in a statement, Shift Up had no intentions of creating offensive artwork and will be replacing the graffiti for the day one patch. Sony, for the love of God, you know this was unintentional. Why are you listening to the mentally ill people that have no idea what to do with their basic fucking pieces of their lives? Like these people can't even wake up in the morning and, free and tie their own shoes without tripping over themselves. Why are you listening to these people? You know these people don't buy your video games. They're just looking for a reason to bitch and complain as usual. I know I like to bitch and complain, but not like this. Not small stuff like this that are just a coincidence that happens. Like, really, Sony? Really? You know what the best part about this is? You guys want to see what they replaced it with? This one's actually a slur, and uh, this this one's going to be really interesting to talk about, too. Yeah, Sony thought it was a really good idea to replace it with this. Yeah, crime. Crime with that R right there. Yeah, yeah. Let me just say this real quickly, though, too. If you know what that means, then, well, you, you know what it means. But I'm going to pull up a little thing on the video right here for you to see. So uh, you, you can see the slang for it. And uh, let me just tell you something. Sony dropped the ball once again and just made the situation even worse. And probably the mental ill people that don't even, uh, well, how can I really say this one real quickly? They probably don't even care. They probably don't. They probably don't because they probably saw the hard R and got their little, uh, they got their little cookies on the internet and say, yay, I'm a good person for this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to lay off of those people for a quick second. I'm going to lay on the uh, Sony CEOs when they probably saw this in the news cycle. They probably thought to themselves, oh God, we got to replace this. We got we to replace it with something else. And they decided to replace that with a crime, you know, replace hard with a crime. And then uh, they all probably looked at each other and probably did this. Well, boys, we did it. Racism is no more. And you know what? I'm just going to admit it right now. I haven't seen this much of a fumble ever since the June night, Juneteenth or whatever it's called about the bonobo tag that they try to do for uh, Halo Infinite. Yeah. And anybody of the OGs remember that little incident with 343? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen this much of a fumble since then. And you know what? Before I close this video out too, <laughs> you know what? I'm just kind of thinking about it right now. 
I wonder if Sony did it intentionally. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm really curious now because let's be honest here for a second. Like, really? Really? You're going to replace hard? You're going to replace hard with crime? Really? 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 And I'm, I'm not going to be surprised. They don't know much about, much about the slang in the United States. I ain't going to blame them for that. I ain't going to blame them even for putting the hard R in there. It's just, it's just stupid slang that should not have really mattered in the first place. You know, fam? But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Enjoy this type of content. You guys already know to do all that sellout stuff because you know what? I'm trying to get to 10K by the end of this year. So if you want to help me, do all that sellout stuff. Besides that, fam, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, fam. And for the love of God, get some fucking help, people.